HMS Cavalier is a destroyer. She was built for the Royal Navy during the Second World War and served in the Arctic and then went out to join the Far Eastern Fleet towards the war's end. After the war she was refitted and saw service throughout the 1960s and early 70s and became the Royal Navy's last operational destroyer dating back to the Second World War. By 1998, Cavalier had had a fairly chequered preservation history and had been lying in a redundant dry dock in Tyneside for about seven years without any form of public access and she was in grave danger of being sent, for, sent to be made into razor blades to be scrapped and with National Lottery funding we were able to extract her from her fate in, on the Tyne and bring her to Chatham by May 1999. Now the ship was not watertight and this ship served on the Arctic HMS Cavalier is the ultimate hands-on experience, so young people can come along, they can ring the ship's bell, they can go up on the bridge, they can call down the voice pipes to their friends uh, on the decks below. On our literacy programme, we use the Forward Seaman's Mess to talk to young people about a poem that was written in a space just like that. Also, we have the really exciting aft-end accommodation space on HMS Cavalier, where groups of young people can come and stay overnight and really immerse themselves in what it would have been like to be on board a ship like this one during World War II. Actually, I want to go on top, but yeah. I think it's really good because it's a new experience for what you do and it's different from all the other trips because like, you actually get to see what it was like in the war. I think it's like really interesting because like, they fought for us and you get to see what it was like and also you get to have like, a really good day with your friend. And the captain could have sat up there and he had the a... Preservation of Cavalier has been a huge team effort. Volunteers, permanent staff, supporters from uh, around Britain. A lot of what we do could be described as fairly basic, it's chipping, painting, scraping, but it's really trying to keep the ship in good condition and preserve it really for the future generations to come and look at it. There's been a tremendous buzz of excitement when the, uh, when, when the ship was, became a finalist in the National Lottery Awards and to win the award will really be the icing on the cake of seven or eight years of extremely hard work and effort.